one in saints of God. We come to you from Greater Love Temple, 7394 County Road 1 in Burlington, Ohio. We thank God for you joining us this morning in our virtual service. We praise God. We, we pray that you get a blessing on this morning. So as we go into our service, we want you to just see yourself in the house of God and, and magnify the Lord with us and glorify God because God has been good to us once again. He allowed us to wake up this morning clothed in our right mind with the activity of our limbs and another opportunity to give him praise. And we thank you for joining us. We pray love temple. We praise God for you on today. We thank God for each and every one of you. And we come to magnify the name of Jesus on today. We ask you to get into this service with us. We want you wherever you are in your living room. Come on and help us lift up the name of Jesus. Help us magnify him. And when the word of God comes forth, that you hear what thus saith the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. At this time, we ask asking God to prepare us to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. Hallelujah.
Father, we ask you right now, God, in the name of Jesus, to forgive us for all of our sins, known and unknown. Father, any sin that we have committed in dark, in thought or deed, Father, we ask you to forgive us on today. Because God, we want a clean slate so we can come before you, God, and you have your way in us, with us, through us, and for us. But most of all, God, we just want to magnify your name. We want to exalt you because, God, you've been good to us. And God, if, if, if I don't have another day, I thank you for what you've already done. And I thank you, oh God, for this morning's uprise. I thank you for last night's lie down. You watched over us as we slumbered and slept. You kept us from all hurt, harm, and danger. You kept us covered in your blood. Father, we thank you that you've covered us in the blood on this week. You've covered our loved ones. Father, today, God, somebody's soul is heavy. Somebody's heart is heavy. But God, we lift them up before you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you today because the reason we need to you to prepare us to be a sanctuary, God. Uh, try, try it true, pure and holy. It's because, God, we want you to have your way in us. We want to be vessels of honor. Father, we thank you right now. We look at the world, and we know the world is in a man's shape, but we know who the answer for the world is, and Jesus is the answer for the world today. You are the answer, and God, we thank you right now, Lord Jesus, realizing that we can't do nothing without you. Father, we plead the blood over hatred. We plead the blood over everything that's unholy and ungodly in the name of Jesus. Father, everything that's not like you, we plead the blood over the devil. There's power in the blood that can heal all manner of diseases. There's power in the blood, God, that can cleanse our hearts, cleanse our souls, cleanse our minds. It's never before, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you today as we as you prepare us for the word of God. And God, we as we lay ourselves on the altar right now and say, God, have your way. Father, any and everything that would keep us from hearing from heaven today, we lay it on the altar. Father, that mother, that father, that son, that daughter, that sister, that brother, it may be laying in the hospital right now, Lord Jesus, and that loved one can't reach them. God, we lift them up before you right now. That bereaved family, God, that is going through right now the loss of a mother, loss of a father. Son and daughter, but God, we speak the blood of Jesus over them right now. We speak your healing power. We speak the blood of Jesus over their lives to comfort them, God, in the name of Jesus. God, every soul that is requesting prayer, somebody may even be requesting prayer right now, Lord Jesus. Uh, but God, we ask you to move on their behalf. But God, most of all, we're going to prepare ourselves so you can move. God, we don't want you to come in on a junky house and try to move. We don't want you to come in on an unsettled house and try to move. But God, we clean it up right now. In the name of Jesus, we're throwing out what we don't need. We're throwing out that 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 is hindering us, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for a mighty word of God on today. We ask you to touch the man of God from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. As he speak to us, your people, today. And we give you praise, we give you honor, we glorify you, for you are worthy of all praise. In Jesus' mighty name that we pray today, God, come on, give him some glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. As you remain standing for the reading of God's word, we are going to come from Proverbs, the 13th chapter. And it reads as thus, say a wise man heareth his father's instruction, but a scorner heareth no rebuke. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of a transgressor shall eat violence. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that open wide his lips shall have destruction. The soul of a sluggard desireth and have nothing. But the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. A righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame. Righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way, but wickedness overthroweth the sinner. There is 
that maketh himself rich, yet have nothing. There is that maketh himself poor, yet have great riches. A ransom of a man's life are his riches, but the poor heareth not rebuke. The light of the righteous rejoiceth, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. We thank God for the word of God on today. We thank God for wisdom. Hallelujah. 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 We thank the Lord. Come on, open your mouth and give him some praise. Hallelujah.
Receive her as she ministers to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. As she ministers, listen to the words of the song. Hallelujah.
service. And that is to hear the word of God. To hear from the man of God on the day. What God has prepared in his spirit to speak to his people on today. I ask that you receive him as he comes. Hallelujah. None other than our pastor, Mr. P.M. Gray. Receive him. Hallelujah. Like this, Peter therefore was kept in prison 
but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God. Amen. Can we read that again? Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. Can somebody say in prison? In prison. And I don't know where you are right now and where you're sitting, but there's something in your life that got you held up in prison right now. But then somebody just praise God that your freedom is coming in the name of Jesus. But notice in our text, it says, without ceasing, the church was praying. Hallelujah. Ah, glory to God. If you jump down to 13 verse, it says, and as Peter knocked at the door of the gate. Somebody says, at the door. And the damsel came, Hawken, named Rhoda. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. Yes. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. And right now, right quick, before you take your seat, wherever you are, just say, say, my answer my is at the door. Ah, now praise God because you believe God that your answer is at the door. I need a praise like that. I need a praise like that. My answer, my answer, my answer, my answer, my answer is at the door. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, now you may be seeing the presence of the Lord. Um, as we look at our text and we look at our verse and we see. I'm the, um, not even looking beyond the, even our text and our verse. We may look beyond even our text and our verse. And we come and we take a seat in your little living room or in your little situation. Because somebody ought to say this today, I need God to take a seat in my situation. I need God to sit down in my personal situation because there's some things in my life that if God don't move, anybody got one of them, anybody got one of them, if God don't move, I don't know how I'm going to come out of this with the victory. But I, can I guarantee you this? You will come out with the victory. Now, like you gotta understand this. I'm not gonna wait until I get the victory to give God the praise. But while I'm on my way to victory, I'm gonna give God the glory. While I'm on my way to the place of victory, I'm going to give God the praise because I know that my only hope, my only answer, my only strength, and the only thing I can depend on in this season is the fact that God is still God and that God is still in control. I need somebody here to clap your hands real quick and say God is still in control. Now here you got Peter, uh, uh, not, not, not just anybody, not, not just somebody, not just somebody that can be disposed of, but you got Peter, the, 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 the pastor, the bishop, the main individual of the house of the Lord is locked up in the church, locked up in jail, locked up in prison. Some of you right now, you got situations in your life that you thought, I don't know how in the world I got to this place. I don't know how in the world I ended up here. I would have thought by now I'll be further along, but here I am in 2020. I found myself locked up into a prison. Oh, glory to God. I found myself locked up in a situation where there is no hope, no answer, no victory, no strength, no way out. Somebody said, I'm locked up in a prison. And the prison that I'm locked up is it's, it's mainly, it don't have semen, it don't have bars, I haven't been for a judge, I haven't been senator, but my main lockup is the lockup of my mind. And I understand now when I look at my situations, everything the devil tried to bring in my life was only things to try to lock me up. But in the name of Jesus, I come 
come to tell the church uh, that our answer is at the door. Glory to God. See, see the devil trying to tell you uh, your answer is a long way off. Uh, the devil trying to tell you uh, that your victory is unattainable. Uh, but when you understand this thing, uh, that the answer that God uh, has for your life, uh, that it is right at the door. Uh, it's right on the very edge uh, of your breakthrough. Uh, and you just in line, next in line for a miracle. When you understand this thing that God is getting ready to do in your life, can I say it here, y'all go finish it. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither has in the heart of man the things God has prepared for the that love them. Okay, so I understand now. I come to church today. You clicked on this video to let you know that everything in your life that's been going on, the reason why it's been going on is because God is arranging something to reveal his glory. But I come to remind you, your answer is at the door. Peter locked up in jail. The devil thought that what has come in your life, uh, he he designed it and, and can we look at your situation because all you got some something right now that you're dealing with everybody that's watching me. Never we watch this video. Uh, all of you got something in your life uh, that you're dealing with. Uh, you dealing with uh, can't nobody do this with God. Uh, here you got Peter locked up in jail. Ain't no way out unless somebody let you out. Uh, but I come today to let you know ain't no way out of your situation until somebody let you out. Uh, but you gotta understand uh, the people that let you out, they ain't let you out because they want you out. They'll let you out because God is going to command them to loose you and let you go. I come today to tell somebody it's almost time for you to come out of what you're in. And it is the prison of your mind. You don't have to go to jail. Your own life is a prison. You're locked up in your own mind. You're locked up in the prison of a disease. Oh, preach, Bishop. You're locked up in a prison of a disease. You got sickness and disease going through your body right now that you never thought that you would have. You ain't never experienced this kind of sickness in all your life. You ain't never had this people struggling all your life. You done come through disease after disease and it's gone brought you through. But anybody got something right now that it seems like it's just lingering there. The more you pray, it's keep on sitting. The more you take the medicine, it keeps it keeps on presiding, it keeps on residing, but I come today to tell somebody, your answer is at the door. Give God a praise, because your answer is at the door. Hey, your answer is at the door, church. Your answer is at the door. Oh. And I told y'all, I've been telling y'all, that every time I get on this pulpit, you already know what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about prayer and praying under God. We've seen the position that the church was in. The church was in a position of prayer. The church was in a position not just praying when they felt like it, but the Bible says they prayed without ceasing. You got to understand this, that prayer cannot start when you feel like it. You can't pray when you feel like it. You can't pray when you want to pray. You got to learn how to pray without ceasing. I don't know how bad I can continue to try to get y'all to understand this. You can't start praying today and stop for two days. Start praying one day and start another day. But you got to have a consistent prayer life. Oh, glory. Yes, yes. Yeah, you got to have a consistent prayer life. You gotta have consistency in your prayer life. You gotta have a, a prayer life that you set a schedule and a time with God to seek His face. And what the enemy does is His assignment, oh glory, to cause the situation to cause you to be destroyed 
in the prison. But when I understand this, when I understand that my prison did not come to destroy me, but it came to rehabilitate me. Somebody praise God right there. My prison did not come to destroy me, but it came to rehabilitate me. Oh, boy. Can somebody say, I'm in this for rehabilitation? Oh, glory. Hey, glory, God. This whole year has been a year of rehabilitation. Because it seems like everything is stopped. The job has switched. Oh, how we shop has switched. How we go to school has switched. How we come to church has switched. So God put us in a place where they feel like I'm in a prison. But I come in and let somebody know that God, that your answer is at the door. Hey. Your answer is at the door. Your answer is at the door. Your answer is at the door. Yes, it is. It's at the door. It's at the door. It's at the door. It's at the door. Your answer is at the door. I need somebody to say to talk to your prison and say, I'm coming out of this this week and I give God a praise. I'm coming out this week. This is my week of coming out of oh, glory. I dare you to make the declaration say, This is my week of release. Oh, glory. This is my week of release. This is my week of release. This is my time of coming out of jail. This is my time of coming out of prison. This is my time of coming out of my bondage. I'm coming out in the name of Jesus. This is my week of release. Somebody say, yes, it is. Say, yes, it is. My week of release. Hey, glory to God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Because what the devil wants, he wants you to get a prison mentality while you're in your prison. Hey, I don't care how long you've been sick. Don't get a sick mentality. Don't get comfortable being sick. Even when you're sick, say, I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. I need somebody to talk in the prison and say, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. Yes, I am. I'm healed. I'm healed by the power of God. Somebody say, I'm healed in the name of Jesus. Hey, glory. Hey. Hey, God. Hallelujah. By your stripes, I'm healed. Yes, I am. I'm healed. Hey. I'm healed. In my body, I'm healed. In my mind, I'm healed. In my body, I'm healed. In my mind, I'm healed. And I'm coming out uh, rehabilitated. Hey. You know what? Uh, you know what? Uh, in the prison system. It's supposed to be a system of rehabilitating you or and making you better. There's some folk that go to prison and while they're in prison, they yet get a degree while they are in prison. Now all of us know something about this, that when folk go to prison, they get what we call jail house salvation. They get jail house salvation. So I come in and let you know that in your prison there is a deeper depth, a deeper walk, a closer walk with God. So therefore in my prison I can give God praise. You know I'm not praising for the prison. 
prison. But I praise God that I learned God better while I was in the prison. I found God out better while I was in prison. In the prison, I met Jesus while I was here. So in this prison, I give God glory. Give everything. Give thanks for this is the will of God. Just to praise God like you lost your mind for 30 seconds. Give it praise because this is the will of God. Oh God, let this thing happen. Yeah. Someone says, For my good before his glory. For my good before his glory. Yeah. Yeah, glory, 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 glory. For my good, hey, shut the door, stop. But for God's glory, hey, hey, hey. So, 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 this is what we gotta do while we get to prison. Don't you dare sit in your prison and get mad with your circumstance. Don't you dare sit in your prison and don't and get mad because of where you are. And don't you dare sit there and blame God for being the reason that you there. Because if God let you come here, he let you come here for a reason and for his glory. So in the midst of the prison, I may not get oh, a degree. And if I get one, that's all right. I may not even get new friends while I'm here. But one thing I want to get while I'm in here is a closer relationship with God. So if God sits you down so he can get you closer to him, sit in that seat and get close to God. Sit in that seat and get close to God. Sit in that seat and get close to God. Don't you sit around here and blame God Why am I here? Say God, I don't understand it, but God, I thank you. thank you. God. I don't know how and when I'm coming out, but when you understand this and you take hold to this, to this truth today, that your answer is at the door. Oh, yes. Yes. Not, 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 not. No, as I didn't say, your answer is on the way. Glory to God. But when you are a prayer warrior and an intercessor, whatever God has for you, your answer is already at the door. I need somebody with a good sanctified voice. Say, already at the door. Already at the door. Your answer is already at the door. So I said, my blessing ain't on the way. Say, it ain't coming. It ain't coming out for a while. It's already, already, already. So I'm ready at the door. So I'm ready at the door. It's already at the door. I just come to encourage you. I'm going to encourage you to tell you that your answer is going to go now. Here we got um, the church is in prayer. Oh, 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 oh. They are in a shutting where they shut themselves off because they need a deep move of God. If there's ever been a time that God is calling not just us in our individual prayer chambers, but God is calling the church into its prayer chambers. What has happened, we have tried to go to the world, but we have not shifted in the church. The church has to shift to a new level. The church has to go to another dimension in God. And as long as we're in the place that we are outside of the will of God, the only way God can get our attention, he has to take us to the prison so he can so we can hear what God has to say. So you're in the prison. So everything that was distracting you. Oh, glory to God. God move it out of the way. So he, you can see nobody but God. Nobody but God. 
Don't nobody call me when you're in prison. You can't get many calls. When you're in prison, you can't get many letters. But when you're in prison, you got nobody but you and God time. Oh, you can't say, I ain't got time to pray. Because you got time to pray. You can't even say, I'm too tired. I'm sleepy. Because you got time to rest. In this prison, all you have is nobody but you and God. So this prison was set up to bring you close to God. Oh, man, we mess up. Well, we mess up with this. In this prison, we mess up because we're trying to run. Some of us trying to run. We're trying to break out of the prison. And we're using all of our energy trying to do a prison break and a breakthrough with God. I don't know about you. I don't want a prison break, but I need a breakthrough in the spirit. Oh, I need a breakthrough in the spirit. I need God to move in the Holy Ghost. I need God to move down in my spirit. I need a breakthrough in the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, my answer is at the door. Say, my answer, my answer, my answer is at the door. I feel somebody break through coming, coming this week. I feel somebody's answer coming this week. Let me slow down. Hey, hey, let me slow down. Give y'all up ten minutes of preaching if you don't need it. Oh, go. Now, 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 now. Notice that while the church was praying, when the young lady went to the door. When she answered the door, uh -huh. when she went to the door, she did not even open the door. She just asked the question and said, who is it? <laughs> so many of us right now, we got to get prepared for when our answer show up, oh that we may respond correctly, uh, correctly to the knock at the door. Some of us, when our answers show up, we will miss the blessing because we are not prepared to open the door after the blessing show up. Oh, oh, oh. God. Well, watch this, 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 watch this. That's one thing that the prison does for you. The prison will teach you how to respond to an open door. Oh God, somebody says, the prison will teach you how because when you have been in prison and when somebody opens a door, they ain't got to tell you how to walk out the door. They ain't got to tell you that you can go now. But when the door opens, you will begin to walk out of the door because prison taught me how to open the door. But the tragedy of it is that if I only respond to doors that are locked, if I only respond to doors that are not open, but when God opens a door, y'all better watch that, I don't even know word. When God opens a door that no man can shut, when God opens a door for you, the prison taught you how to walk out of the door. Can somebody, can somebody just lift up one foot and say, I'm going to walk out of this door? Give the name of Jesus. Here you got it. 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 Um, brother, go to the door. She answered the door. And she said, who is it? And he said, it's Peter. She knew who they were praying for. Mm -hmm. She knew his voice. But she still hadn't received the fullness of the promise. 
all of us, most of us right now, we can hear the sound of the promise. But I come today to tell you, I'm not going to stop until I receive the fullness of the promise. Some of you right now, you ought to be sick and tired of just a drop and a dream of a blessing. But I don't know about you in this season in my life. I need the fullness of God. I need the fullness of God's healing. I need the fullness of God's deliverance. I need the fullness of God's power. I need somebody in here to say, I want the full deal plan that God has for my life. I want the whole blessing and I won't stop. I want the whole blessing and I won't stop. I want the whole blessing. I want, I want the whole blessing in the name of Jesus. I want the whole blessing. I want the full blessing. Yes, God. Yes, God. So after she heard the blessing. Watch this and y'all better get this. After she heard the The Bible says it teaches us that she got happy, she got she got emotional, she got excited because of the blessing. And some of us, can I tell you this, and I believe that we ought to bless the Lord at all times. And it's pretty show, except for keeping it being our mouth. But sometimes you gotta understand you cannot stop, don't praise him until the full manifestation shows up. That is a praise of faith. But sometimes you gotta learn how to wait to praise him until the contract is signed. You gotta wait to praise him until the deal is clear. You gotta wait till you praise him when you see the full manifestation. Yes, I'm praising my faith, but I'm not going to stop praising him until I see what God has promised me. So what did she do? She got happy, went and testified to the other blessing. To the other brother in the church. And the sisters in the church have told them, Peter is at the door. And notice how praying people should not act. But should not act. The praying people, when the blessing showed up, because they was praying for Peter, but I can't pray for you until I pray for me. See, because if I don't pray for me, I'm not going to be prepared for when my blessing shows up. So what I got to do before my blessing shows up, before God can heal my body, I need God to heal my spirit. So what I need God to do, I need him to shift something in me. Shift something in me, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Shift something in me, God. That when my blessing comes up, I'm not going to tell who brings the message or oh, you crazy. And I come today to tell somebody right now, you have been pushed aside like Rhoda, and they done said you crazy. They done said you foolish. But I come today to let somebody know, I don't matter how foolish they say you are, God is still good. No matter how crazy they say you are, God is still able. No matter how bad they say you are, God is still good. That's why I made up my mind. I'm going to the door and I'm going to get everything from us. And somebody said, Me, we had a death at the door. Our blessing is waiting on us. Somebody, somebody say, say, my prayer this week, Lord, teach me how to receive what you got for me this week. That's, that's a word like that. Teach me how to receive what you got for me this week. Oh. Teach me how to receive what you got for me this week. I don't want to miss my blessing when it's right back at the door and I let folk talk me out of my blessing. No, can somebody say, I'm not going to let nobody talk me out of my blessing from the Lord. From the Lord. I ain't going to let nobody 
Yes. 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 The Bible tells us this. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible tells us this. The Bible tells us. Ah, yeah, the Bible tells us. It says, Seek ye glory, and ye shall find. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, and see, if you really want something from the Lord, if you, if you really want something from the Lord, if you really, somebody if you really, if you, if you, if you, if you if, can, 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 can you get country and say, if you show up, if you show up, if you show up with something from the Lord, your prayer is weak because the Lord teach me how to receive your blessing because I don't want to let nobody talk me out of my blessing because I've been waiting too long, I've been in prison too long, I've been in bondage too long, but Father teach me how teach me how to understand what God has teach me how to walk in the fullness of To live in the fullness of God. Teach me how to walk in the promise of God. The Bible tells this. It says, Ask, and it shall be given. Watch this, watch this, watch this. It says, act and show you. It says, seek. And what? And you shall yeah. It says, knock. And what? And it shall be yeah. What I see in those three, three, Three levels. In each level, I see you gotta do something. Say it again so you can get it. You gotta do something. I come to let you know that your blessing is at the door, but you gotta do something. And just sit right here. Well, I'm I'm waiting on the Lord, Lord. You ain't too lazy. I hope and pray God don't do it. No. Faith without works is what? Dead. I come to let somebody know your blessing is at the door. Before you open it, your blessing is going to speak. And you're going to know that it is your blessing. Because God lets you see yourself. Come and let you know that the, the self God that you see is greater than the prison that you're in. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But God lets you go to the prison so He can teach you how to answer the door. Amen. Oh no. 
Father, we ask that you pour out in us and deliver us. And God, what you have for us this week, I praise you that we're going to open the door. And that we're not only going to go and tell the people about what's at the door, but we're going to take the blessing in the midst of the prayer meeting with us and testify with the miracle in our hand this week in the name of Jesus. Thank you for us hearing good news. Thank you for covering us in the blood. Thank you for keeping us whole. Thank you for keeping us new. Thank you for keeping us fresh. Father, I send the word of God through the internet. I send the word of God through Facebook. I send the word of God through YouTube. And I send a word and heal them. Father, there's so many individuals right now that need healing in their body. We declare unto you by your stripes, we are healed. Every situation, brothers. I know your word says lay hands on the sick, but I want every believer to lay hands on that self. And wherever the illness is in your body, I command healing to flow to that area right now. I feel healing flowing. Yeah, heal God. By the power of God. Father, don't only heal, but God, do a sanctifying work in my spirit. Don't only sanctify me, but save in my family. Fill with the Holy Ghost and deliver. Bring restoration to my family, oh God, where that's the vision and confusion. God, you bring one accord and one mind in this season. Let us operate in forgiveness and love. Let us love our enemies and pray for them in this life to use us. Let our light be a light of Christ. That the world may see you through us. Father, we thank you right now. Forgive every enemy of ours. Forgive everyone that lied on us, that talked about us, that criticized us, that even gossip about us. Forgive them, oh God, for they know not what they do. And we thank you right now. And we give your name praise. And we give your name honor. We give God's name glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And praise God. And because you know your blessings at the door, put your hands together and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Because you know your blessing is at the door, put your hands together and give God a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel it right now, Zion. Hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you for tuning into our virtual ministry today. Prayerfully it touched your life and changed your life. Somebody all over, somebody can't come to church today. But I need every one of you in this sanctuary that can tell me to, to, to help me tell somebody that's watching today and tell them, say, your blessing, your blessing. is at the door. Now give God praise because you know it to be true. It's offering time in the temple. We want to sow in the house of God. Wherever you are, you have the privilege of sowing into our ministry. God is still using this ministry in many ways. Would like to sow into our ministry, you can sow through Cash App, Dollar Sign Greater Love 2010, or you can through GPay, through Greater Love Temple 2010 at gmail.com, or you can mail it through the US Mail at PO Box 292, South Point, Ohio 45680. And you will be a blessing in the house of the Lord. If God drops this ministry into your hand, into your mind, into your spirit, for you to sow into this good ground, I'm 
decree unto you that your blessing will be manifested to the glory of God. Those even that are way up to that you would like to sow through these venues of giving, you can, and you can be a blessing in the house of God with your time and your offerings. And we praise God for you. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Be blessed. Be uplifted. Be encouraged. And when the door is, when the knock comes to the door, I need to the answer because your blessing is at the door. All of the house of God, those that are here, let's give God a praise because our blessing is at the door. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.